So I'm here at uh, uh, CES in Vegas, CES 2023, and I've been walking around looking at all the different exhibits here in the uh, mobility hall. And this is the one that excites me the most. You know, there are lots of fancy things from Mercedes and Volvo over there, but this one excites me the most, especially as a metaphor for the future. This has been designed by grad students at Clemson University in Greenville, South Carolina. And there are a bunch of partners involved as well, but it's a concept vehicle which they've put together, which they call sustainable by design. And why I get excited is the multiple levels at which they've designed this to be sustainable. So if we want an expression of the opportunity we have in vehicles to really rethink mobility, this is it all in one package. So at one level, it's fully autonomous and fully electric. And as you'd expect, that has huge operational benefits and sustainability. I've seen simulations that show that if we could just move our standard ways of moving people around to ride share and vehicles like this, which will self-optimize their distribution in cities, we could get 80% of the vehicles off the road. So there's a huge operational sustainability dividend just waiting for us at a city level, should we choose to take it. And we can do that today with vehicles like this. I'm gonna come around a little bit, I'll get you to come around a little bit so we can see inside and just get a bit of a, a view of the vehicle and I'll talk to it from, from a different angle. So we can work at a precinct level now with putting uh, vehicles like this in if local or city governments come along for the ride, they exist. But it's not just that, this autonomy and ride sharing and you see this lovely utility based design which we could use for parcels or four or five passengers, it's got folding seats. It's not just that, it's also the materials choices that have been made here. So the grad students have chosen materials for recyclability, for low power input on the manufacturing side, also for repairability and to be lightweight. So at all these systems levels, it has a much lower energy footprint, lower energy impact. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. And there's people in there now, so I can't just jump in. So I might wait a minute and, uh, no, no, that's all right. I'll wait a minute and we'll do another take and I'll, I'll, I'll jump in and talk about it a bit more. All right, we're still shooting? Yeah, okay. So now you can see the passenger space is huge and it can be reconfigured or used any way you like. And what the guys have been emphasizing to me as well is that we transform, of course, the user experience because now we're not driving, we can do whatever we like with that user experience while we're in the vehicle. Everything is about capacity utilization, not just the manufacturing capacity utilization, but also using all the vehicles we have at full capacity, which means we need fewer vehicles. So I'll get in here and you can see, we can sort of fold up the seats, we can move them around. The guys tell me you can uh, 3D print your own components uh, and modify it as you need. And repairability, no one talks about repairability, but it's really important in vehicles. So you get materials that can be um, easily and low cost repaired as well, all built in. Um, and they just showed me, by the way, the battery tray made out of carbon fiber, which is recycled carbon fiber, from, reused from other components. So they're not wasting anything, everything is sort of made out of recycled things as much as possible. And even these windows, you'll see there's a little bit of an imprint on them, the camera might capture it. That's because they're using recycled wood to make the mold for the window. So they left, left the actual uh, uh, lines in the wood there to make a statement so they could talk about it. So look, I just want to share that with you. I think it's utterly inspiring. We can do this today. Any city can do this today. Any sort of municipal area can do this today. And so if you're trying to change the world, talk to your local leaders. It's not a federal type thing or a state thing. This is the kind of thing we can deploy and start changing the world and making it more sustainable at a mobility level right now.